exploring Negros Island. After a five-day trip by land and by water, boarding three different vessels from Batangas Port to the ports of Mindoro, Katiklan Numangas to Bacolod, it was time to explore Negros for another week. Negros Island is composed of Negros Oriental, which is part of Central Visayas, and Negros Occidental, which is part of Western Visayas. Why Negros? Why is the place called Negros? Based on some facts of history from the site www.negros.org.ph, Negros was formerly called Buglas, an old native word that means cut off, as it is believed that the island was separated from a larger land mass by rising waters during the last ice age. The predominant inhabitants are mainly called Negrenses, locally Negrosanons. <clears throat> Bacolod City, known as the City of Smiles, is a first-class, highly urbanized city in Western Visayas. It is the capital of the province of Negros Occidental. Why is it called the City of Smiles? It's because of the Mascara festival being held in there and also the smiling faces of the Negrenses. Negros, which is the sugar bowl of the Philippines, takes pride of its rich scenic spots, nature and eco-parks, waterfalls, kilometric sugarcane plantations, theme parks and bustling commercial centers. Balay Negrense in Silay City and the ruins in Talisay will bring you back to interesting accounts of history. Balenigrense, located at Cinco de Noviembre Street, Silay City, is a heritage museum which is the former ancestral house of Victor Fernandez Gaston, showcasing the lifestyle of a late 19th century Negrense sugar baron. It is uh, known as the first museum established in Negros Occidental. Like uh, this is akin to the old houses of Vegan. And so with the, the old houses that are exhibited in Las Casas Bataan. So Negros has its own Balain Grense. The ruins is the remains of the ancestral home mansion of the family of Don Mariano de Decima Laxon. Situated in Talisay, Negros Occidental, the mansion was built in early 19, 1900s and inspired by Italian architecture. It was formerly called the Taj Mahal of the Philippines and now variously called Taj Mahal of Negros or Taj Mahal of Talisay, which is located on a large farm of 440 hectares, former sugar plantation and now an operational farmland. Filipino guerrillas burned it down during World War II to prevent the invading Japanese forces from using it as their military headquarters. It was burned for three days with the intention of burning it down to the ground, but its main foundation and walls remained, so it was renovated on its ruined estate, which has now become a top tourist attraction in Bacolod. And so it is now known as the ruins. Beautiful ruins. The nearby places from the Colored also lure nature lovers to the Mambukal Mountain Resort with sulfuric hot spring pool and waterfalls in Marsha, the Magaso Falls and Balikaukau Lookout in Kabangkalan City.
Tobago City, among others. We passed by Himamailan on our way to Kabangkalan City and we stopped a while to appreciate the colorful city lights. Himamailan is derived from the Elongo words Hima and Babailan, a freak healer or quack doctor that heals the Hima sickness through curing rituals as part of the culture during the time of the Spanish colonizers. Negros Oriental's capital, Domegadi City, pride itself of sweet delicacies such as the Selvanias and the San Serval Cakes. Pamplona, for one, is known for its unique rabbit themed park and eco farm. There is more to explore in Negros. <laughs> 